Hi everyone. I've been trying to shoot this target for about four days now. It's Sly Mike's bell target and I've got it down the bottom of the garden there, you'll see it in a moment. And just to show there's no shenanigans going on, I'm going to try and shoot it using Mrs. Tin Can's BSA Scorpion. And I'll be shooting Akipal FTs. Let's take this camera down the garden. It's done nothing but piddle down with rain for the last four days. And this seems to be about a 30 minute gap I've got to be able to do this. Now, originally I set this up on my booth at the bottom of the garden there. But to be truthful, at 38 meters, trying to hit a nine millimeter hole is probably ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is set the target up at 25 meters. And here it is at 25 meters. Let's just see if we can zoom in a little bit. I've got a sound recorder down there. There we go, recording the sound. And there's the target. So we'll set this up here, zoom out a little bit. At long last we have a little bit of sunshine, this is unbelievable. Kind of move this camera over here a bit. Yeah. So, we'll have a go at shooting it at 25 meters and see how we get on. Let me just take a walk back up the garden. I think 25 meters is probably a more realistic distance to shoot something like that at. 38 meters is just a touch too far to try to hit nine millimeters. You know, a kill zone of nine millimeters. And now the sun's come over, oh, blimey. Bright as hell. <laughs> right then. Can I see it? It's down there somewhere. Hmm. Yep, I can see it, but can I get it? I don't know. Let's have a go. Let's put a pellet in. Let's try and get comfortable. Okay then. This is on 10 times zoom. Let's have a the first shot at it. Oop, make sure we're not counting the rifle. Shot number one. Ooh. I pulled that one slightly, but I think I did actually ring. Oh, not really much fun. I did actually ring the bell, I believe. Shot number two. Let's have a go at this one. As you can see, that one was very slightly low and right. Oh, there we go. Oof. And that was definitely left. <laughs> ha! Nice to see that uh, your blast shield's working, Mike. <laughs> Good grief. That would have bent it something rotten. Let's have another go. Oh, there we go. Ring that bell. Tell it in. It's a more realistic distance, this, so let's have another go. Ooh. I think actually only half the pellet is going through the hole, but it is at least ringing the bell, which is what we were aiming to do in the first place. Let's have another shot. Oh, I pulled that one. I saw that one just move to the right as I pulled it. Let's have another go. Need to get some more paint out now, Mike. Let's have another go. Yeah, it's ringing that bell. So at 25 metres, it's a, a more realistic distance to try to hit a 9mm hole. Yeah. That 
bell is ringing out loud and clear, even all the way up here at the garden. Let's try the last one. And then we'll go and collect it up. Not too bad at all with that at this distance. Oh, I pulled that one. That one went way to the right. Anyone who says they never pull a shot is probably fibbing. That makes a lovely bell sound, doesn't it? I quite like that. Last shot and then we'll go and collect everything up. Yeah, that'll do. Safety on. That'll do. Just support the back end of the gun slightly. Stop it rolling over. I think that'll do. I'm quite happy with that. There we go. That's lovely. Nice few dings of the bell there. Have a quick look at the back of the belt. There's the belt. Nice one, Mike. Let's get the sound recorder out of the way. And we'll take this back up the garden. Look at the weather now. Good grief, what a difference. And it's lovely and warm too. That box fort is going in all. Yeah. Yo. Thanks for watching as always. <laughs>